Let's do about five to six questions related to LCM and HCF. Let's get started with the first question. What is the LCM of following numbers? And these are your numbers. Well, if you observe carefully, these numbers that are given to you are expressed as a product of prime factors. And that is the first step we do usually while calculating LCM by using prime factorization method. Now, if you recall by prime factorization method, LCM is the product of all prime factors with highest power. So LCM would be equal to the product of all prime factors. So all of the prime factors are 2, 3, 13, 5 and 11. So 2 into 3 into 5 into 11 into 13. LCM is a product of all prime factors with highest power. So we haven't given the powers yet. So let's let's give these prime factors their powers. So the highest power of 2 is 3, 2 raised to 3. So we have 2 raised to 3 into the highest power of 3 amongst all the 3's here is again 3. So we have 3 raised to 3. Now comes 5. Highest power of 5 is 5 raised to 2. So we have 5 raised to 2 multiplied by 11. The highest power of 11 is 1 because there's only one 11 here. So 11 raised to 1 multiplied by 13. So highest power of 13 amongst these two numbers is 13 squared. So we have 13 raised to 2. So this is our answer. This is the LCM of these three numbers and hence the right answer is option B. Okay, time for question number two. It's the same as the previous question. The only thing is that you have to find the highest common factor of these three numbers. So the first step to find out the highest common factor by the method of prime factorization is to find out the prime factors of each of the numbers. So that step is already done for you. Now by the method of prime factorization HCF is equal to the product of common prime factors with the lowest power. Let's find out the factors that are common to all of these three numbers. In the first term we have 2 and it is common to all of these three numbers. The next common factor is 3 which is present in all of these three numbers. 13, 5 and 11 are not common factors. So HCF is the product of common prime factors. So we have HCF is equal to 2 into 3. But we are yet to give them their powers. And it says that the HCF is the product of common prime factors with lowest power. So what is the lowest power of 2 amongst all of these 2's? So the lowest power of 2 is 1. So we have 1 here. What is the lowest power of 3 amongst all of these 3's? So again the lowest power of 3 is 1. So the answer is 2 into 3. Okay, let's solve another question. Find the LCM of 0.5, 2.75 and 1.25. So these numbers have a decimal point. Now to calculate the LCM of numbers with a decimal point, the first step is to remove the decimal point by multiplying with 10, 100, 1000 or numbers like that. Then you have to calculate the LCM of the resultant numbers and then to find out the correct LCM of our numbers with the decimal point you have to recover the decimal point by dividing the calculated LCM by the number which you used by removing the decimal point. So let's first remove the decimal point. So these three numbers 0.5, 2.75 and 1.25 you can remove the decimal point by multiplying 100. 0.5 into 100, 2.75 into 100 and 1.25 into 100 will give 0.5 into 100 is 50, 2.75 is converted to 275 and 1.25 is converted to 125. Now we can calculate the LCM of these three numbers. Let's do this by division by primes method. We can write 50, 275 and 125. Let's first divide them by, we can divide them by 2 first. So 225 is 50. These numbers cannot be divided by 2 so they remain as it is. Then we have then we can divide them by 5 so 5 5 is 25 5 into 55 
and 5 into 25 is 125. Let's again divide, the, divide these three numbers by 5. So 5 1 the 5, 5 11 the 55, and 5 5 the 25. So we can stop. So LCM is equal to 2 into 5 into 5 into 11 into 5. These numbers. And this comes out to be 2750. Now this is not the final answer because we, we are yet to recover the decimal point. So the final LCM is equal to 2750 divided by 100 this number and this gives us the answer is 27.5 so the correct option is option 3 now time for question number 4 find the HCF of the same numbers that were given in question number 3 so again we can use the same method first remove the decimal point calculate the HCF and then recover the decimal point so the final answer would be HCF is equal to the HCF of 50, 275 and 125 divided by 100 because we multiplied these numbers by 100 to remove the decimal point. Now I have already calculated the prime factors of each number for you. Now HCF is equal to the product of common prime factors with the lowest power. So the common prime factor here is 5 and the lowest power is 2. So answer is 5 raised to 2, the HCF of these three numbers 50, 275 and 125 and this comes out to be 25. But our final answer is this HCF divided by 100. So that is 25 divided by 100 and that comes out as 0 0.25. So our correct option is option A. Let's move on to question number 5. The HCF of three numbers is 17. The three numbers are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 5. What could be the numbers? Now we have been given the ratio of numbers. Let's consider the numbers as A, B and C. So A is to B is to C is given as 1 is to 2 is to 5. As the ratio is given we can easily say that A is 1x, B is 2x, and C is 5x. Now the common factor amongst these three numbers is x and it is the only common factor and if it is the only common factor we can comfortably say that it is the highest common factor of these three numbers. So HCF is x and we know that and we have been given the HCF of these three numbers which is 17. Therefore the value of our x is 17. Now we have the value of x as 17, we can find out the values of a, b and c. So a is 1x, that is 1 into 17, which comes out as 17. b is 2x, which is 17 into 2, which comes out as 34. And c is 5x, which comes out as 5 into 17, which is 85. So None of these options contain our answer. So the answer is none of these. The final question, which of these numbers are co-prime numbers? Now if you recall, the highest common factor of co-prime numbers is 1. So the pair of numbers whose highest common factor is 1 are co-prime numbers. So if you calculate the HCF of 18 and 68, it would come out as 2. If you calculate the HCF of 21 and 63, it would come out as 21. And the HCF of 21 and 61 is 1. And the HCF of 18 and 27 is 9. So the highest common factor of 21 and 61 is 1. Hence, these two numbers are co-prime numbers. So the option is option 3.